So I had a patient a few years ago, we'll call her Monica, who was in her mid-20s when she was diagnosed with lupus. She had developed some rashes and some really bad joint pain and swelling in her hands, which started her on a year-long journey until she finally ended up in my office where we discovered that she had lupus. As you would expect, it was both a relief and horrible. And while she was busy doing everything she could to learn about lupus, I was busy doing a full body evaluation to make sure we weren't missing any areas of inflammation. And when it comes to lupus, my main concern is always the kidneys. At first, it seemed like Monica's flavor of lupus was mainly just joint pain and rashes, but it was only a few months in when I noticed her ankles were slightly swollen. She brushed it off, saying she'd been on her feet a lot. But any kind of water retention, like what I saw in Monica, has to be taken seriously when you have lupus. The reason being, water retention is one of the few symptoms of lupus nephritis or lupus inflammation in the kidneys. Kidney inflammation doesn't always announce itself with obvious symptoms, which is why we have to pay special attention to even the smallest changes and keep an eye out with appropriate screening tests. So I ran some tests and her urine showed protein, a classic red flag for kidney inflammation. Her blood tests thankfully showed that her kidneys were still working well, but I knew we needed to act fast if we wanted to keep it that way. We confirmed it with a kidney biopsy and were able to adjust her treatment to now focus on getting the kidney inflammation under control. This was a lot for Monica to take in, but if we hadn't caught it, it could have led to kidney failure. That's why if you have lupus, your kidneys need to be on your radar. Even if you feel fine, you should be getting regular urine and blood tests to check for kidney inflammation. If your doctor hasn't talked to you about your kidneys, just ask them. This is one of the most serious complications of lupus, but early detection can really make all the difference. And have a great day.